Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Tuesday, January 10th. I'm going to do it on Slash ES, which is the S&P 500, and Slash TF, which is the small cap 2000. And I'm going to start here on Slash ES, and every single evening I always start on the four hour chart. The four hour chart is what I call the anchor chart as far as it's the most important chart to understand when you're a day trader. Like what is our four hour bias on this chart, right? Are we overbought or are we oversold or are we at equilibrium? And so when we look at this four hour chart on the slash ES, you can see that that right there, 2277, that is all time highs, all time since the beginning of time. And this was pretty predictable today. But of course, we got a little bit of a sell-off off coming off of all-time highs, right? Super easy. That was easily predicted. You could have caught it. No problem. Watch Sunday night's trade plan. You could have seen the reversal star. I mean, easy, right? So um, now that we got that move down, we have made our way literally smack dab in the middle of price. So here we are just chilling at the middle blue Keltner. You can kind of see all of our Fisher transformers down here, our stochastics. Basically, they're at the zero line, so they're not necessarily overbought or oversold. So basically, we're at equilibrium right now, right? So as far as Wednesday's trading day, we can be a bull and or a bear, right? We can be both. Last night, the bias, of course, was to sell. Hopefully, you watched last night's Sunday night's plan. It was very clear cut, right? We just want to be looking for sell triggers on Sunday night. Not today. Sorry, well, if not for Tuesday. We can be both. Right, we can take this back up to the highs. Let's write that number down, 72 to 74. Or we can take this chart and continue taking it back down to the lows, 58 to 56. So now what we do, and I actually want to do this. I want to highlight our one hour. I want to highlight our one hour chart here, and we'll go over here to our one hour. This is basically a 30 day. Uh, one hour chart what we're doing here is we're just looking for structure we're looking for the best places to buy best places to sell we're looking for support supply resistance and demand zones and consolidation zones and those are the only levels that we want to be trading tomorrow and so what I always do is I start on the deviations and then I look left to see if there's structure there so you can see that bubble right there 2277, that's all time high. So, of course, on a plus one, we have no structure on plus one. But then we'll have Monday's POC and plus 0.5 deviation right there. And when we look left, of course, we got structure there. And the number I just wrote up to the upside, I wrote down 72 to 74. So, we know that if these bulls want to do some work, we know the long term target for tomorrow will be right there. And then we take our profits and we can look for potential sell triggers there. Okay. We'll also have a target at value rate high tomorrow. When you draw and look left on that sucker, there's structure at value rate high. When we look to the downside, we start on our minus 0.5 deviation and we look left. Now, what I want to do quickly is move to our 15 day chart so we can see those. We can see those um, support zones on that 15 day, sorry, on that minus 0.5 chart. So something I quickly want to highlight though, is we will have some structure on the 2260. So let's be mindful of that. We're almost there, but we will, if we look left 60, you can kind of see the support there. We had a lot of volume. We had resistance, breakout, support, resistance, resistance, lots of just volume, resistance, resistance. So we will have, you probably potentially will see some movement on 2260. Can't imagine if we get through 60 and then hold lower highs, our next target will be the minus 0.5 deviation. The same thing, we look left. There's structure on that, on that sucker uh, as well. Right, so we got two spots to the downside as far as support, you know, and then we also got another support target. So I got, I don't think I want to be buying the 2260, but I'm just going to be mindful of it. I will potentially look for potential buy triggers off of the minus 0.5. The number I wrote down to the downside, I wrote down 58 to 56, which that number, I wrote that down from the four hour chart. Okay, that definitely could change by tomorrow morning, those numbers. Okay, if we get through the minus 0.5 tomorrow and then continue holding lower highs, and these bears just want to go ahead and drop the hammer down, which could very well happen because we all got to understand of what's going on on this daily. 
So look at our daily chart. Our daily chart is trying to give us a daily candle sell trigger. Not only is our daily chart giving us a sell trigger, so is our weekly chart is also giving us a sell trigger right there. So at any second, now when I say second, but any day, any hour, these bears could just drop the hammer down, right? So you gotta be mindful of that and you gotta be prepared and ready to go and be a little skittish of buying really overbought charts, okay? So if price gets through the minus 0.5 and holds lower highs, we can look to spread or at the money binaries. We got a target on Wednesday's POC, so take profit. Final target tomorrow will be the minus one and then take your profits off of there. Not sure I'll be looking for buy triggers off of the minus one, but potentially we could because there is a lot of structure there to warrant a buy trade off of that minus one. So now what we do is we zoom in on the sucker. Now that we've seen all the weekly chart, the daily chart, we saw the one hour chart, we saw the 15 minute chart to the left. Now we zoom in and we really pre-plan our day. We visualize every single trade before it even happens. Let's first talk about if this chart does go higher. The first thing I'm not gonna I'm not saying that this is gonna be just an amazing trade. Something that you just gotta be mindful of is that value area low could potentially hold as resistance right there. So you gotta be mindful of that. I'm not saying that's an amazing trade, you just gotta be mindful that that could retrace and then either value area low or set. You got set right there, it could hold as sell triggers there. But I'll definitely also be looking to get up above set hold higher lows, then of course we'll have potential, you want to try and enter on a higher low, and then we got potential for an 80% rule to the upside. So there's your 80% rule. Price comes outside of value, which it has, gets back inside, holds higher lows, 80% chance price will run up there and touch value area high. And then of course take your, take your profits because you can potentially see sell triggers at value rate high, that's the number one way to profit from that box. So we already got three ways to profit from that sucker if price goes higher. If price continues going higher, here's the fourth way to profit from the box. Get up above, now continue holding more, higher lows, higher lows. We just ride this chart, continue riding it back up to all time highs, and then we take our profits on Monday's POC and the plus 0.5 deviation. So there's the number three way, right? get through and then continue holding higher lows, higher lows, and then we'll have targets, which we notice that Monday's POC and plus 0.5 is our long-term bull target tomorrow. If we make it there, we'll definitely have potential sell triggers off of that. And then if we get up above that, okay, we get up above that, question marks, I got nothing for you. Price has never been here uh, since the beginning of time, so how am, I tried, how am I supposed to tell you what to do? If we go lower, I just basically already talked about it. Um, you gotta be mindful of this 2260, but if you get through that and hold lower highs, we'll likely go ahead and run down to the minus 0.5. You can look to spread or at the money binaries to the minus 0.5 and then TP, which stands for take profits. Then we can look for potential buy triggers right off of the minus 0.5. Potentially you'd want it to touch the minus 0.5 and then try and enter off of a one minute higher low. If these bears bring the hammer, the daily chart, the weekly chart, brings the hammer tomorrow, we just talked about it, but if price gets through minus 0.5 and then continues to hold more lower highs, there's a take profit on Wednesday's POC, lower highs, final take profit on the minus one. So if this tanks tomorrow, you got a lot of opportunity to for spread trades down to the downside, and then you kind of decide how, how far do you want to put your stop loss to the upside. Okay, I just quickly want to look at slash TF, the chart. If we look at our weekly chart, it's giving us a weekly candle sell trigger as we speak. You can see that right now. So these bears are kind of potentially going to take control of this chart. Daily candle sell trigger has already been kind of running and gunning. Our four hour chart has basically, but here's the deal on our four hour chart. You got to see this, okay? It's a little bit different than ES. Our four hour chart is at this insane range low. Look at this range low that we are in. Our four hour chart is actually really oversold, right? It's trying to give us a buy trigger right now as we speak. So if the chart goes lower, 
I'll talk to you about it when we get to the smaller time frames, but that's not where a lot of the opportunity is tomorrow. A lot of the opportunity is if we can get this going higher and we got targets to the upside. We got good targets to the upside if this chart goes higher. We got the middle blue Keltner, which we'll write that number down, 65 to 67. We'll straddle that blue. And then if the bulls really get after it, come back to that resistance Keltner there, 73 to 75. So now what we do, same thing we just did, we, we go to our 15 day, 15 minute plot chart. Look at this, you can clearly see this range low that we're on right here, right? And then look, we're there right now. So we are at like right now on slash TF, we are at crazy what I like to call decision time. Like we are just at massive decision time for these bulls. Are they gonna just go ahead and break this range low and then just fall out of bed and this weekly chart just brings the hammer down? Or do they go ahead and we get bulls to the upside? So let's look at our targets to the upside. Target value are you high, plus 0.5 deviation. Monday's POC, so look at all these targets to the upside if we get bulls. And then I wrote down my long-term target. I have it written down here, 73 to 75, which is literally to the tick, my plus one deviation. And look at the structure on our plus one. So let's zoom in and really pre-plan this sucker. Okay, well now we've looked at everything. Now let's visualize every trade. First thing we'll be looking for is of course the 80% rule to the upside. You wanna get back inside, find your higher low entries. Okay, so you wanna find potential 80% rules to the upside. Once we get there to value rate high, take your profits because we'll either see trig sell triggers there or sell triggers on the plus 0.5, be prepared, okay? If you get up above plus 0.5, now we just continue holding more higher lows. We got we got to take profit here, hold higher low. Second, long term, full blown long term target tomorrow will be running back to this plus 0.5. Take your profits there, and then of course we can look obviously for sell triggers on that plus one. If we go lower, we just notice we don't have a ton of structure if we go lower, and so obviously. You know, I'd call it basically 1353 would be kind of the breakout zone. So if price, sorry, I'm drawing that really bad. Let's actually do this. Let's do this, 1353. That's gonna be my line in the sand. Get through, now find more, lower highs, lower highs. And I ride that weekly chart down on some spreads or at the money binaries and I use this as my target. Basically what we can do, we can also just quickly look at the one hour chart, okay? You can see why I like the minus 0.5 as a target, because look left. Look at that resistance from, from, that's basically from Thanksgiving. And then of course, look at the breakout right there and then support and then boom, strong breakout upside, up to the upside. Let me kind of bring that over more so that you can see all of that structure on the 1345. That's why I use that as a target. Right, we had resistance right there on the 1345. Look at all that resistance. Then we broke out of the 30, 1345. See that, we broke out. Then we held support, right? And then of course we broke up to all time highs. So of course, that is why I would use that line right there as my bear target tomorrow and then I take profits. I know the four hour chart though, You, this is the deal, right? My four hour chart is telling me that the bulls are gonna show up, but my weekly chart can bring the hammer at any second. Look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart could just bring this hammer down. Okay, so that's why you gotta see it all. See the big picture and watch what happens to your trading. So comment if you have any questions. Make sure that you're recording everything you're doing and take pictures of all of your trades as well and post them so that you get feedback from me and from others.